Welcome back, book buddies. Today we are going to read a Hey Dougie annual. This is the official annual 2022. Inside there are three stories for us to enjoy. The hair badge, the tadpole badge and the river badge. Let's go! The hair badge. Dougie is busy combing his hair. He looks in the mirror and smiles, looking good. Boing! What are you doing, Dougie? The squirrels ask. Dougie flicks the strand of hair. Boing! Dougie is having a bad hair day. Suddenly, more hairs pop, pop up all over Dougie's head. Ah, woof! We'll fix your hair, Dougie, says Nori. How? asks Happy. Dougie has his hair badge. What do we do first, Dougie asks Betty. Dougie holds up a bottle of shampoo. First, they must wash his hair. Yay, cheer the squirrels, running outside to fill, find the paddling pool. Dougie comes outside and helps them. Happy grabs the hose and turns on the tap. Water, he cheers. Roly squirts some shampoo into the water. Bubbles, he shouts. Water, bubbles, water, bubbles. Dougie holds up a paw. That's enough water and bubbles now. Frog has popped up from the paddling pool in a bubble. Wash time, Dougie, says Betty. Ah, woof. Is the water okay, Dougie? asks Betty. Woof, says Dougie. Do you need more bubbles? asks Rolly. Woof, says Dougie, shaking his head. Just relax, Dougie, says Nori. Relax! Dougie starts to shampoo his hair, humming to himself. Dougie is washing his hair, says Nori. Woof, Dougie has finished washing his hair. He stands up and shakes himself. Water splashes everywhere. Next, the squirrels must dry Dougie's hair. But how are they going to do that? asks Tag. I know, says Happy. He disappears and comes back with a giant fan. Yay, cheer the squirrels. Happy pushes the button to start the fan. Whoa! The fan spins faster and faster. Are you dry yet, Dougie? shouts Nori. Woof! shouts Dougie, nodding. Good work, squirrels. Happy switches off the fan. Suddenly Dougie's hair puffs up like a giant ball of fluff. Dougie looks very funny. Poof! Now the squirrels must style Dougie's hair. What style would he like today? Spiky hair? Big hair? Curly hair? Straight hair? No hair? No, that's not right. The squirrels don't think Dougie suits any of those hairstyles. I've got an idea, says Tag. He points to a picture of Dougie on the clubhouse wall. The squirrels whisper together and giggle. Finished. We like this one, say, say the squirrels. Woof, agrees Dougie. It suits you, Dougie. Hooray. Haven't the squirrels done well? Ah, woofs, says Dougie. They have all earned their hair badges. Now there's just time for one last thing before the squirrels go home. A Dougie hug. Well, that was fun, wasn't it, Dougie? Suddenly Frog's bubble pops and he lands on Dougie's new hair. Plop, ribbit. The Tadpole Badge. It's a lovely sunny morning and Dougie is outside. What are you doing, Dougie? The squirrels shout. Dougie is busy adding the finishing touches to his rock pool. Happy races towards the rock pool. Splash, splash, he cries. Woof! Dougie holds up his paws. Sorry, Happy. The rock pool isn't for splashing in. It's for all the animals to enjoy. Duck and her ducklings and butterflies and horse. The rock pool is a place of calm, away from the hustle and bustle of everyday 
Ugh! What are those? cries Betty. The pond is full of wriggly raisins, Dougie, gasps Snorri. The wriggly raisins are actually babies and they're called tadpoles. Are tadpoles baby worms, Dougie? asks Betty. Baby fish? asks Happy. Baby snails? asks Snorri. Ah, uh, woof. Dougie tells the squirrels that the tadpoles are baby frogs. They don't look like frog, says Tag, or sound like frog, says Betty. Ah, uh, woof, says Dougie. He has his tadpole badge. Dougie gives the squirrels a book so they can read all about, about tadpoles. Tadpoles don't look like frogs at first, but then they grow arms and legs, turn green and hop out of the water as fully grown frogs. That's amazing, says Betty. Do you think they know, asks Happy. Let's tell them, says Tag. Betty tells, tells the tadpoles what the squirrels have just found out. The tadpoles don't like the sound of it. No way, we're going to stay like this forever, they shout. Arms and legs are disgusting, cry the tadpoles. They're, re they're, they're really useful, says Betty. He doesn't have any legs, shout the tadpoles looking at Frog. Yes, he does, the squirrels tell him. Frog stands up and does a little jig. Boop, and there's his legs. Suddenly, one tadpole sprouts arms and legs. Then all the other tadpoles do too. Make it stop, they cry. We can't. It's nature, says Nori. Next, the tadpoles turn green and spotty. Not fair, they shout. Finally, the tadpoles turn into frogs. Pop! When they do, they start sounding like frog. Tag asks Betty. She looks at her book. Uh, right about now, she says. Ribbit. I'm never going to sound like ribbit, one of the little frogs croak. All the little frogs start to ribbit. The frogs begin to leave the pond. Hey, where are you going? asks Tag. To study, to work in the city, to go travelling. Now, wow, they've grown up so fast, says Tag. Bye bye, tadpoles, I mean frogs, calls Betty sadly. Hooray, haven't the squirrels done well? Ah, woof, says Dougie. They have all earned their tadpole badges. Now there's just time for one last thing before the squirrels go home. Dougie hug. The river badge. Dougie needs to deliver a very special parcel. He points to a spot on the map. At the end of that blue road, asked Tag. The blue road is actually a river. But you can't swim that far, says Betty. Dougie puts on his captain's hat and points to the badge on the front of it. Dougie's got his river badge. Parp! Soon Dougie and his crew are ready to set sail. Ah, uh, woof! Dougie toots the boat's horn and off they go. Dougie and the squirrels are having a great time sailing down the river. Hello, chicken, calls Tag. Squawk! Betty is busy checking the course on the map. They're on the right route. Brody spots a little cord hanging down from his life jacket. He pulls it. Poof. Nori is putting the life rings in their proper place, making them nice and neat. Happy points ahead. Water, he shouts. Yes, Happy, says Betty, nodding. Water, Happy shouts again. We know it's water, Happy, says Betty. Water, Buffalo, shouts Happy. Huh? says Betty. Dougie! Woof! Dougie spins the wheel. The boat swerves and misses the water buffalo. Phew! cry the squirrels. Duck build platypus, shouts Tag. Woof! Dougie spins the wheel again. The boat swerves. Phew! cry the squirrels as they sail safely past the duck build platypus. Water! Fall! shouts Happy. Woof! Hold on tight, squirrels. 
The boat sails over the waterfall, then bounces through some rapids. The squirrels giggle. Yay! There are no colourful frogs all around the boat. Why are there so many frogs, Dougie? asked Betty. Ah, woof. It means they must be getting close. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Dougie tells Rolly that it's time to toot the boat's horn again. Pop! Suddenly a rabbit appears on the riverbank. Hey man, you've brought the parcel, yeah? He, he asks. Dougie nods, nods. Woof! Watch out man, it can be a bit slippy dippy, the rabbit tells him. The squirrels carefully climb out of the boat. As Dougie climbs out, he slips and falls into the river. Woof! She's in there, man, the rabbit says, pointing into a temple. The squirrels follow Dougie inside. Hello, they call. They hear a voice in the darkness. Hello, sweetlings. It's Choo Choo. They've bought your parcel, Choo Choo, really tells her. Choo Choo rips open the parcel. Thank you. You can't have a cup of tea without a good biscuit. Yay, the squirrels cheer. Hooray. Haven't the squirrels done well? Ah, woof, says Dougie. They have earned all earned their river badges. Before they set sail for home, there's just time for one more thing. A Dougie hug. Thank you very much for joining me again today. Do come back so we can read more books together. Please like and subscribe. Bye.